What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Al. My name is Max and today we've got another viewer's car. This is Jeremy's 2006 BMW 335i Touring. This is an N54 engine, so a twin turbo 335i and it is not stock. Not at all. It has been tuned quite heavily and it is currently pushing around 700 horsepower on E85. So it is a freaking beast, this thing. I absolutely adore it. It's the second N54 335i we've done in a few months and they are just so cool. I love the no nonsense approach. Again, with this one, it, it is pretty much a sleeper and well, it's just freaking awesome. So today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to cover the mods or most of them at least. And then we'll take it for a little drive. Not that way actually, because we are repaving the, the road there. I hope. I don't know what they're doing over there. I hope they're not installing speed bumps or something like that. So we are going to head that direction towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Now this 2006 E91 3 Series. Uh, it used to be Jeremy's daily, but now he's got a company car and this is his project car. And he is pushing this thing. It, I mean, it, around 700 horsepower with a built engine. Everything has been changed. We've got upgraded sway bars front and rear. We've got M3 wishbones front and rear struts from an m3 as well so it is a serious car really really serious so at the front i mean look at that it just looks completely stock we've got the angel eye headlights of course and then down here you can see a little mod jeremy removed the fog lights and has an extra oil cooler over there which works really well wheels and tires We've got these Vorsteiner wheels, 19 inch, and it has Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires at the front, 235 section. And then behind that, we've got the M Performance brakes from an F33 series. They work fine once, and then uh, the second time, they overheat basically, and they start shaking. So brakes, still a weak point with this car. I hope that Jeremy will fix that because he has crazy plans for this car so i hope that will be part of it but beautiful wheel actually and then ap coilovers as well suspension is really really good on this car and then at the rear we have toyo proxess r888r semi-slick tires because uh, he was spinning his wheels in third gear and uh, so he said i need something stickier so this works really really well and it has adjustable rear toe arms as well. And at the rear, we've got a custom exhaust three and a half inch with N54 in there, which is very cool. Wow, that is actually a very cool effect with the, the sun coming through. Look at that. That is, <laughs> that is really, really cool. So three and a half inch, and he does have a resonator in there. Let me check, I think I can see that if I get down. Yeah, there it is. So that's the resonator. I hope you guys can see that. But it is very, very loud. It is a really good look though. I, I do quite like it. Quite a big tailpipe. You can follow Jeremy on Instagram, by the way. 335N54E91. Go check him out to follow his progress. Now, let's check out the engine so the n54 3 liter inline 6 twin turbocharged engine stock 306 horsepower 400 newton meters of torque with a twin turbo setup it's got two quite small turbochargers that spool up at the same time simultaneously and that means that because they're quite small they spool up quite quickly you have a lot of torque down low as well it's a beautiful engine uh, it it's just a joy to drive a car with this engine every time, especially when they're tuned, they feel so freaking strong. But this is a different story, of course. This car has Hydra HP 800 turbos. It's got this black market part, sport injection, uh, Mosselman oil thermostat, uh, Mishimoto oil cooler, 
Ooh, what else? Uh, we've got the intake from a 335D, which redirects the air towards this, which is a different location. Normally uh, on an N54, you have them over there, uh, but right now they are right there. He also installed this M3 style top cover, which means that you can see more of the engine, which is quite nice. Uh, Wagner three inch downpipes, forged pistons, connecting rods yeah it's it's just a built engine everything has been done it's been out of the car and uh, jeremy just <laughs> completely redesigned the engine basically any other candy in here well we've got the tile blow off valve right there and an oil catch can and we've got a secondary low pressure fuel pump in the rear as well and as I said, it runs on E85, so it has a Motive Flex Fuel Kit and a custom MHD tune by Wedge. It also has XHP software for the six-speed automatic gearbox, which is a big improvement because it is, well, quite a slush box, this automatic. It's quite an old automatic gearbox. So that XHP software really tightens up uh, the shifts. Uh, both up and down shifts are much, much better. So uh, there is a lot more stuff that has gone into this car. Rev shift, um, engine mounts and transmission mounts, for instance, which means that it's just so much tighter at the front and much, much more. Uh, I will put a complete mod list in the description or the top comment. Uh, go check that out if you want to see everything that has been done. Jeremy is working on getting a DCT gearbox in here. So a double clutch transmission from a BMW M4 and to get some m3 drive shafts and a limited slip diff so he is still working on this car uh, he's also going to go for a precision turbo single turbo setup as well after this with a dct gearbox so he's going to build that this winter so that should be absolutely insane i hope that jeremy will be back when he finishes that because it is a beast right now but i can't imagine how it must feel with a single turbo basically the same horsepower 700 around 700 horsepower and uh, 850 newton meters of torque so in here completely stock apart from the steering wheel of course a little bit thicker is that a an e92 m3 steering wheel i think so with these pedals here quite funky So the sound is very, very loud. I am going to crank that AC a little bit to pull the camera. Get that stuff on my face. But you can hear that it is a very loud car. It's got that three inch Wagner downpipe, the three and a half inch exhaust, and then you have that resonator somewhere around here. Uh, but Jeremy is going to install a silencer because it is just a bit too drony at uh, I think he said between 1800 and 2800 rpm you have a, a big drone inside the car a big resonation so he's going to try to get rid of that okay so let's go and have some fun I, I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to do on this B road because this car is hella fast and as I said, we have to turn right, which feels very weird. So, yeah, you can hear it is quite loud. Nice little blow off there. If we put the gearbox in sport mode, we'll turn off traction control. Don't want that interference. Uh, we can use the pedals which it's actually not bad. Oh. But you can feel the clutch slipping sometimes. And uh, Jeremy did say that the gearbox is pretty much done. It is uh, almost at its end. So it does have some trouble coping with this power uh, but the gearbox itself is completely stock so it's just the xhp software that has been changed but he's just running the stock clutch and stuff like that and i'm amazed that it actually stays in one piece
and the shift is pretty quick actually it's just you have to think about what you're going to do basically because the gearbox does not agree with fast changes uh, and things that happen at the same time if you're doing one thing just a downshift or just an upshift it's fine but when wheels start spinning or traction is lost or it's at the wrong revs or whatever it, it, it can feel a little bit rough for example we did have uh, a big wheel spin moment once and then Martijn tried to upshift and it wouldn't go into the next gear so sometimes I think it's a bit much for this gearbox but as I said Jeremy is going to swap it for a DCT which should be able to cope with this stuff happening a bit better and I mean yeah you've got that insanely aggressive gearbox mated to this beast of an engine that is going to be a lot of fun so here we go Altaban this is the stuff this car likes anyway I mean it drives really well it handles really well the suspension setup is really good and of course you've got those wishbones and sway bars that have been upgraded so that definitely helps but it is just a bit too fast for a B road but I really like the suspension setup it's not too stiff it's quite compliant still and it absorbed everything really well there we go full throttle oh man it and it was still up for more so we of course also measured the 100 to 200 and uh, the fastest we were able to do is a 6.08 which is very very quick but I have to admit that Jeremy himself did a 5.77 when it was a bit colder I mean it's it's way too old now to do any performance measurements with a car like this uh, but still six seconds very very quick but if you just have a look at that 5.77 run uh, on our list and check out the cars it would have been between it is between a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ and a Ferrari 488 GTB for instance so this is a really really fast car it it's I don't think it will really come across as such on video because it's it feels quite dramaless actually which is very cool I, I really like the no-nonsense approach to this there are no burbles no pops and bangs it's just a very very fast sleeper 3 series absolutely awesome so a little sound check <laughs> that is very loud and it is it's such a cool sound it's it's quite a high-pitched sound which I really like and is mental I absolutely love it and Jeremy just uses it to put his dog in the rear and hitch it 
horse trailer as well to the tow bar, which I think is mega, mega cool. So Jeremy, thanks so much for taking your car to us. I hope you will be back later on uh, when you have the DCT and the single turbo setup. Really enjoyed driving it. Thank you so much. To you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or this playlist of reviews on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.